I said, I'm going to throw in a few extras. So now, this is like a, just a little few extras I think I might have forgot. But uh, biggest crowd I think I ever played in front of was about 15,000 people or so up at uh, the, uh, I guess, what was it called? The Field House or something up in Edmonton with 10 years after concert. I've explained about that concert. Biggest piano I ever played was the a big Steinway in, in Vernon. It's like a nine-foot Steinway where uh, they hired me at the Winter Carnival. I went up there, and this one I had Holiday in Hollywood out, and it, I did a show up there. And I don't remember if I told you about playing at the Generator up, Generator nightclub up in Prince George. It was a nightclub upstairs and a strip club downstairs. I remember some of the guys went rafting. I remember some of us took LSD the next day and some of them went rafting and I ended up at some groupie's house. I can't remember. And then one time I played up uh, in... I played the Yellowhead Inn up in Prince George and... Uh, um, my cousins came over, my Auntie Mary's daughters, and uh, they came over to see me a few times. And then I, I remember them. Their father had been killed up there by the railroad tracks. I think he was a drinker. Somebody murdered him. I was starting to ask around about it, and uh, I think I ended up at a biker's bar where the bikers drank. And somebody said, "You better shut up about asking stuff like that." So I did shut up after that. And uh, another little thing is uh, the worst thing that ever happened to me in my life, I think, was when get, getting hit in the face with a, a somebody. I was walking to the door uh, when I was at the gym and sick of me, someone threw a basketball and it hit the door right in front of my face and smacked me right in the face and knocked me out. Uh, anyway... Uh, uh, so and anyway, and then uh, well, let's see. I think guess that's about it for now. I'm going to do one little more section here. Hang on here. Nowadays, I'm uh, I'm mostly playing. I take art lessons from Tony O'Regan. He's a really good friend of mine. So nowadays, I'm mostly playing dances. Sometimes I play. Uh, I'm the BC Hot Rod Association made me their musical director, and also uh, the uh, I play for uh, different uh, car clubs in the summer. I play all the car shows. They're a lot of fun because I know every hot rod song there is pretty well. And uh, sometimes I play like the care homes now, like everybody else is doing. You just play for an hour, play the old honky-tonk piano and all that stuff. And uh, anyway, I guess that's pretty near wrapping it up. I've got one kind of a more of a uh, chapter to go but I just want to mention one thing more about my my friend uh, West who was uh, David Alexander Brown he was uh, Rumpelstiltskin when we first met him then he was entire west coast then he was uh, Hayseed for a while and he was a lower Dave he ended up in Whistler and uh driving cab up there and he oh he always had big dreams that guy he was a wonderful guy I, I really loved him as a friend you know he ended up dying uh, in an apartment downtown and was in there for a whole week they said it stunk so bad poor guy but anyway he uh, I'd lost touch with him for about a year but uh, he was up at Whistler driving cab like limo all the time and uh, but that guy, in my opinion, was so smart and talented. I recorded two of his songs, California Drag Strip and Baby and The Waves, that I've got on YouTube. But he wrote the Teleportation, uh, Going Back to the the Mountains, that was his original title, and called Going Back to Montana. remember the first time he ever played that, I thought, gee, that's like magic, that song. And he wrote The Leisure Generation, which was way ahead of its time, about a guy sitting at a big computer and computing all this stuff. And teleportation was like, uh, I live in West Vancouver, record down in L.A. I don't fly no commuter jet, that's from another day. Since I learned teleportation, traveling's a snap. I go from West Vancouver to L.A. like that. 
That's one of his songs. It's part of it anyway. Okay, I'm going to cut this off now. That's just like a little tying up a few loose ends. I forgot to say we, uh, when we were kids too in Nelson, we used to play Pony Express where we'd pretend we had, I don't know if we had brooms, but we'd get, you know, give someone a little thing and they'd have to go down the road and give it to the next guy and, you know, up, cut through the bush and do all that stuff. And the hotel where I saw Chief Dan George downtown watching the strippers was the Castle Hotel. It used to be on, on Granville. Um, oh, yeah, there was another thing. Uh, Northwest Company was on another TV show called Where It's At. Uh, that's on YouTube, too. And another thing I forgot to tell you is learning how to steal. When I was a kid in Sycamus, a guy uh, taught me... Uh, I, I was never a thief. I didn't like doing stuff like that. But this guy went in into a store and, and stole some Lifesavers. And then he took me and he said, you do it like this. I think I stole one pack of Lifesavers once. But I remember this salesman came to Sycamus one time. And he, and he uh, when I first, my eyes went bad in Sycamus, a guy gave me one little lens, the optometrist. He felt so sorry for me because I, I used to have to squint in school. And I had this one little lens like I could put up to my eyes so I could see the board. That's probably why some of my marks were bad. My parents were too poor to afford stuff like that, you know? And, uh, you know, so anyway, this guy had come to the Gem Cafe and he, he uh, had this briefcase and he had these big rubber bands. And I thought, oh, God, those things, they, they, those would be really good for a slingshot. So when he went into the back room or something, I kind of stuck them in my pocket and I, uh, I took him out and buried him somewhere in the woods. I was going to go get him, and then I remember him coming back looking for the rubber bands. I thought, oh, oh. But anyway, I was never a thief. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, whole thing. It's a long, long, long thing I just did, but I got a couple more things to do, so that's it for that.